Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> he just needs to go away. Stop appearing on the news. Stop being someone who <laughs> makes yourself present within the political conversation because it's never good for you, sir. Um, he addressed the recent reporting we got that criminal charges coming out of the New York uh, Stormy Daniels hush money payment case are likely imminent based on the recent actions of prosecutors. And Rudy Giuliani says, or you'll see what he says, but he, he just doesn't think this is a big deal. It doesn't think they should be going after Trump. And his logic for it is rather strange, I got to tell you. Logical liar. And the case is a ridiculous case. So why do you um, think the DA is doing this then? Why is he, even though you say there's obviously some holes in it? This is a, this is a, at best, this is a personal case, a sexual case. What about Bill Clinton? She was a young girl. He was the president of the United States. It was in the White House. It was in the Oval Office. And they didn't prosecute it. And they're going to prosecute Donald Trump? What about Hunter Biden walking around having committed 50 crimes and the president of the United States with his son convicting him, saying, I gave 50% of my money to him. Remember that. 50% of the money went to Donald Trump, according to Hunter Biden. What about that? That, that, that? Those are crimes. Then you can get to some woman saying who, who, who does whatever she does for a living, saying whatever she said, and the man saying what he said, and already adjudicated in his favor three times. Ridiculous. He should be thrown out of office. Should have been thrown out on day one, but we don't have a governor. Instead, we have a state that people are leaving in record numbers and a police department that people are leaving in record numbers. Oh, gosh. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Just call it retire. Stop. Go. Don't. <laughs> he made it about Bill Clinton and said it's a sexual case. Rudy, what do you think that we're talking about right now? This isn't an accusation of sexual assault or anything. This isn't at all having to do with, you know, sexual misconduct with someone you work with. It being in the White House. This is, sorry, I'm trying to find this. Oh, here we go. This next clip I want to show y'all. Um, there we go. It's about possibly the payments to Michael Cohen that Trump uh, did to pay him back for paying $130,000 um, to Stormy Daniels to keep this story quiet. The way that they did that could have been illegal because they were trying to kind of make it seem like a legal expense when it wasn't and it could be illegal the way that they did this because of campaign finance law this was a direct attempt to impact the election a significant amount of money spent on trying to impact the election keeping the story quiet and of course they didn't disclose it as that and so that could also be illegal this has nothing to do with the issues with Bill Clinton's affair and definitely nothing to do with hunter biden the strangest what about ism i've seen in a long time um as a reminder R rudy giuliani clearly just doesn't have a good handle on the stormy daniels situation because he admitted on national television back when this was a scandal initially that trump paid back michael cohen which previously wasn't uh known uh, that money was not campaign money Sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm and the president repaid it. Oh, I didn't know he did. Yeah. There's no campaign finance law. Zero. <laughs> so Trump definitely paid him back. And Rudy Giuliani was proudly broadcasting that on Sean Hannity's show. What a strange time that was, by the way. Um, long before I was even doing a show, but I wish I was, because that would have been funny to cover. There it is. Rudy Giuliani just continues to have his brain melt while <laughs> we know other things in his head area have melted at unfortunate times. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. 
Link in the description.